Curve. The things that we're touching on, which is raw emotions, are the things that make the legends. <clears throat> Legendary people. Uh, what we're gonna do? We, we got this thing we call interpretation. We're gonna we're gonna play a verse of a song. Get your interpretation. What do you think that person, or that rapper, or that, that that artist was saying? And then we're gonna um, give our interpretation. And that's that. Okay. Um, I was called out for a program, uh, P.O.P. by Pizzo. Um, that's an old friend of mine. And basically, uh, spoke to about 15, 20 kids. Uh, we went through a few songs and we kind of just analyzed the songs for a little more than what the average person analyzes the songs for. Like usually people just listen to the hook or the beat, but we actually zoomed in and focused on the lyrics to see how we could take something positive out, out of the lyrics and relate it to some of the kids' lives. I reminisce on the stress I caused. It was hell. Hugging on my mama from a jail cell. He was thanking his mama for like, he, he, even though like they were going through rough times and he, he was thinking that, that she still was deaf for him and stuff like that. The, the, the emotional attachment that you love in your mom, when he said when he was saying those lyrics in that song, that was an emotional attachment to everybody who loved their mom. I've been in the radio entertainment business for 12 years. I've been in five different cities. But every city that I've been in, I've been working full time on the radio and also full time in juvenile. Uh, detention center. I can see some of the behaviors, you know, that I had at one, one, at one point of anger and a lot of things that I've experienced. I can relate to them. So I just made a promise to God when, when I lost my friend, I was like, you know, I need to, you know, kind of do some things to help deter, you know, some of the kids from the negative things that's going on in the streets. What, what, what was he saying? Can I get, can I get, all right. Basically what he was saying is he only human, so people make mistakes, so you gotta forgive him for what he do, and people, like, people around you do act a certain way, like, when you got money in your pocket, everybody wanna be your friend, this, that, they cool, they want this, as long as you getting them what they want, they cool. But as soon as you go broke, they turn their back, you will lame, you this and that, and they, they just act like a whole different person. One, being in that type of industry, you know what you're getting yourself into, and so you may do something bad, and we all are not perfect, and we all are gonna make mistakes, but the media is gonna make it seem like your mistake is just so bad and so ridiculous, they're gonna blow it, and that's their job. You know, media take out, all those proper rights, they're, they're there to make your life a living hell, basically, because now that you've been to that type of industry, nothing you do is private. Like, whatever, whatever you're going through, like, learn to ride a bike, you're gonna keep falling, you're gonna keep falling, you're gonna follow, you gotta get back up until you get it right, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's the biggest part of the song and what, what he's trying to relay, you know what I mean, to the listener. I feel like he was man enough to just say, okay, I know I did this and I did this, and he apologized for doing wrong to other people. It take a lot out of you, you know what I'm saying, to do that as a man. So they really, you know what I'm saying, really caught my attention. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying, understood the song until DJ Screen really broke it down to me, so. It's important for them to hear things like that so that they don't, they'll know that it doesn't matter, like you're responsible for your actions, you know what I'm saying? We don't want them to look at the TI situation or any situation and see a bunch of superstars, per se, get off on legal troubles and then think it's all right. They think, okay, well, if I become a rap star, if I become an athlete, or if I become rich, then I can do whatever I want and I'll be cool. We definitely don't want that happening. You know? What we're trying to do is condition you not just to listen to the beat or the bass line and then get saying the hook. You need to start listening to what these rappers and singers are really saying. Today, you know, I learned that it's more than just a beat. You know what I'm saying? It's more to, than just a hook, you know what I'm saying? It's a meaning into it. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take what I learned today and put it into my life and make some work for me. A lot of times, like, I think the, 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 uh, the youth is misunderstood. They don't have anybody to talk to about these things or they don't feel comfortable. When you get them in a the setting like we just got them and they start to feel comfortable, then they'll open up and they'll express their feelings. And the first, the first thing that you gotta do to kind of get over any type of anything is to talk about it or address it or just put it out on the table.
Curve. <laughs>